Yes, it is Thursday. Two bags of ice. Gonna go for my head submerged initially. Let's see how that works. Let's do a fucking ice bath. <laughs> Oh. Ooh, start. Oh. Ooh. Two bags, definitely colder than one. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm at 44. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. So today's a beautiful day. You can hear some birds. The sun is shining on my face. I'm doing this a little earlier than normal. It's like 10 o'clock. I just got a bunch to do today. Got a hot date tonight. So, apologize for the background gardener noise. But there's not much you can do about it when you live where I live. You can see a big turkey vulture soaring around. is so fucking loud it's so irritating that's a blower they cut the grass and then they blow it all all the leaves and stuff debris Gonna sit here for a few minutes and see if it gets quiet. This fucking ice bath is dedicated to Marsha H. Marsha H is a, a woman who I've known for 20 years. <laughs> we first met at in 2003 in Santa Rosa. Um, I've mentioned these uh, male initiation rituals that many of my friends and I participated in. Well, the interesting thing about them is that they are led by three women who are called guides. And one of the women is called the head guide. And uh, for all, then, <laughs> then there's somebody who has to raise their hand, a man, and says, I will organize uh, an event. It's called a grail. And they're called the organizer. 
and the organizer works very closely with the head guide. And in, and I organized six, six of these events, which is a lot of work. And you don't do it for the pay, you do it for the experience and, and you know, the learning, the wisdom that you get out of it. So in all six of the uh, events that I organized, Marsha was the head guide. So we worked closely together, not just at the three-day event, but for the you know several months leading up to it. And um, so needless to say, we got really close. Um, fuck! I gotta say, his gardeners are shit compared to mine. Mine get their work done fast. His smoke and uh, fuck about. So, um, Marsh is an incredible human being. As you can imagine, uh, being a woman who guides a group of men through initiation rituals has to be, first of all, very strong, very wise, very tolerant, very surrendered, just all the things you want, you know? And uh, she's just a, she's just someone we, my men friends, came to count on to show up at these events in a way that inspired us to go beyond our own fears and experience our own brand of transformation. Marsha recently, uh, she's gotten cancer twice and beat it, and now she got it the third time. And um, it seems pretty serious. I'll tell you how fucking awesome Marsha is. I do a weekly, uh, every two weeks, me and six to eight of my friends get together on a Zoom call and we talk about our lives, I say anything, you know, and uh, there's only one woman we would consider adding to our group and that's Marsha. So she's been on two, two or three of our calls.
no fucking idea what they could be doing so long. Eleven minutes. So, Marcia, this is for you. I love you. You've been a super powerful, amazing person in my life. I wouldn't be who I am without you, for sure. much white light and love this frozen ice bath can, can send to you healing energy can't wait till next Tuesday when you're on our call again with us I know you're just a special human being and I, I recognize that and appreciate that so much you always had the balls to say, yes, I will do it. But it's so uncomfortable um, to, to raise your hand and say, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, so Marcia, this is kind of like Kind of like that grail in Pescadero where, you know, you do everything right and then the electricity goes out. <laughs> but the, but the, the, the kitchen still worked so we could make bacon. So this is me making bacon in spite of the energy going out. Oh, now it's going to get quiet for the last two minutes. That's okay. I don't even know if you could hear that. So I'm just going to say it again. Marsha, I really honor you. I thank you for being in my life. You're a special person. I wouldn't be who I am without you in my life. I love you. I hope you get better. I can't wait to see you again on the call on Tuesday and get an update. And um, there you go. <laughs> I'm going to decompress for the last minute I gotta say all that noise fucked up my Zen it's one of those planes going right overhead that makes the white smoke line in the sky let's see if I can get a picture of that okay, I got one hour and 10 seconds to go and I have to get out at 15 have to. So I think this is the coldest I've been in. Maybe it's 44. All well, the ice did not melt. goosebumps and I'm shivering so mission accomplished Okay, here we go. 